Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll see how we can use Power Automate to secure the documents. My name is Clavin and I work as a technical consultant. You can find my blog at clavinfernandes.wordpress.com and my Twitter handle is at the rate Clavin Fernandes. So the first question that comes to my mind is what is the most secure form of document? The answer is PDF. So basically PDF file formats provide many great benefits. One of the main benefit is that it cannot be easily manipulated. Rather office documents can be easily edited and manipulated by the end users. So converting office document types to PDF will be a secure document format. However, just converting the documents to PDF, will it suffice? The answer is no. There are modern editors which can edit the document and manipulate the document. Let's consider some of the measures that can be used to protect the PDF document as well or which will discourage improper use of PDF. The first option would be to password protect it. Secondly, add a watermark to it. And third and the most important, apply restrictions such as disable printing, disable high resolution printing or maybe even disable content copying or document assembly. Once you have added these restrictions, you can say that you have a secure document. Now all of this is in theory. Let's go ahead and apply this document security and the concepts in Power Automate. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the flow. So before we get into the Power Automate, I first want to take you to my SharePoint and show you my setup. The setup is pretty simple. I have two document libraries. The first one is secure source and the second one is secure destination. The user will upload the document to secure source and will convert it into a PDF and apply restrictions, apply a watermark and the final document will be stored in secure destination. So let's go to the Power Automate portal and let's create an automated flow. For this demo, I will use the SharePoint manual trigger. Okay. So let the user select a document and then apply restrictions to it by manually invoking the flow. So the name of my site is demo data. I see that I have secure source. Okay. So I'll invoke it from secure source. Secondly, I need to get the document properties. Now, what if the document is a PDF? Do you want to again convert it into a PDF? The answer is no, right? So we need to get the file extension and apply a condition to it in such a way that if the document is a PDF, don't go ahead and convert it. Just watermark it and apply the security restrictions. So again, the library name will be secure source and I'll pass it the unique ID. Then I want a condition as I told you, if the document is a PDF, don't convert it, but do apply the watermark and the security restrictions to it. So firstly, I'll say file name with extension and I'll say if it contains dot PDF, then what to do? First, watermark it, secure it, apply restrictions, and then create the document in the destination library. So firstly, what I'll do is that I'll apply a scope. The reason I'm applying a scope because we will copy this scope into the no loop and then manipulate our flow further. So the first action that I need to add is to get the file content. So I'll say get file content and I'll select the SharePoint action. To this action, I need to pass in a URL. So the URL is in my clipboard. It's demo data. And to this, I need to pass in the identifier. The identifier is the output of the get file properties action. I'll just pass it in here. Next, I have the file content. Now I need to add the restrictions. But remember, before we apply the restrictions, I told you we need to also apply the watermark. So I'll use the Mohembi PDF action and I'll use the 
add text watermark action. So firstly, it needs the file content. So I'll add the file content, which is the output of the get file content action. I'll add the watermarking text. So let me add confidential. It's pretty simple. I'll add the font family as Arial. Let's make the watermark big and visible. So we'll make it 72. Instead of top left, let me make it middle center. Let's go ahead and apply the width and the height. Remember, the width of the watermark and the height of the watermark is 172 of an inch. So the width and height are in points. So let's give it a big box. Let's say that 600 by 600 points. Then let's give it a file name, source file name. So I'll say file name with extension. I'll leave the X and Y coordinates for now because we don't need it. These are used to pinpoint the watermark on a particular position on the document. But we are interested in the rotation. So let me add minus 45 and let's make the opacity around 60%. So opacity means how dark or how light the watermark appears. Next, we need to add the security. So again, I'll add the Mohembi action and I'll add the secure document action out here. Let me give it the file content. So we need to add the watermark on the output of the add text watermark action. So remember, we are getting the file content of the PDF. We are adding text watermark and we'll pass the output of the text watermark to the secure document action. Again, as this is a PDF, we can just pass in file name with extension, which is the output of the get file properties action. Now remember, we can add an open password and an open owner password. If we add an open password, it will prompt for a password to the end user. And this will not be a good user experience. However, if we pass in an owner password, we can apply the restrictions. So let me add a password such as 123, password 123. And let's apply the restrictions. So if you see, we can restrict printing, high resolution printing, content copying, annotations. We can also disable document assembly. So I'll quickly copy this in and paste it out here. So we are disabling almost everything. And then I will add the create file action. I'll pass in the site address, demo data again. Let me give it a folder path. So I'll store it in the destination. We got the file from the source, but we'll store it in the destination. Finally, let's give it a file name. So the file name will again, I'll just choose file name with extension, which is the output of the get file properties action. And finally, I'll pass in the file content of the secure action. So we have configured if the document is a PDF. But what if the document is not a PDF? So what I'll do is that I'll click on the three dots and I'll click on copy to clipboard. Once I have copied to the clipboard, I can click on the no, I can click on add an action, go to my clipboard and copy the scope here. So you see how easy it is to reuse the actions if you put it into the scope. You can just copy the whole scope and that's pretty much it. So I'll name the scopes. So scope to secure PDFs. Rename this scope to secure non-PDFs. Now, as I told you, now this is not a PDF, so we need to convert it into a PDF, right? So this is fine, we can get the file content. But now I want to convert this into a PDF. So I'll add the Mohembi action and I'll say convert document. And here I'll pass in file name with extension and file content will be the output of the get file content to action. Now here, Instead of passing the file content, I need to pass in what? I need to pass in the processed file content, right? And I need to change the source file name as well. So the source file name will be output of the convert action. We need to add base file name and I need to say PDF. 
Now here I will again remove this and I'll add the output of the add text watermark to and what is the source file? The source file is base file name dot pdf which is the output of the add text watermark action. Finally I can say create the file but the file name will be base file name dot pdf. Just remember that I change everything to dot pdf out here okay because here we are passing the file content but the file name has a office document extension for example it can be a docx xlsx or a pptx so i think i have configured the flow correctly so i'll just name my flow to secure demo so let me just test the flow so I'll say start it okay I cannot go ahead and start it automatically I need to manually trigger it and I'll give it a file out here come on okay the file is uploaded so let me select the file let me click on automate now you see my secure document flow is visible and here if you see it's prompting me to run the flow and sign in to the apps. As of now, I have signed in with the account for Mohimbi and SharePoint with the user that I have used in the connection. But if you sign in with another user, you will be again be prompted. So to avoid the prompts, you need to go ahead and configure run only users. So you need to click go back to the power automate or the flow settings screen or the details screen click on edit out here under run only users and you can say use connection okay so you can just use this connection and say save so now it will use the connection of the user rather than prompting for connections okay remember that this is very important or else when you deploy the flow the end users will complain that they are getting authentication prompts and they don't have the credentials so that's going to be a big no-no so I'll click on continue and I'll click on run flow so something went wrong so I'm pretty sure it's because I configured the run only user so I'll again click on power automate click let me click on secure demo and now you see there's no Mohimbi connector prompting it's only the SharePoint okay I'll leave the SharePoint you can also configure run only users for SharePoint but it will not do that so now it's running my flow so let me go back and refresh my runs it seems that it's running so this time it's not a PDF so it's false so it's correct so it got the file content it's trying to convert it very good it's trying to add a text watermark to it perfect it's trying to secure the document I guess out here yes indeed and then it should create a document in the destination so let me refresh my screen and let me go to the destination and here I have a PDF now you see out here I have something like confidential out here if I click on print nothing happens it means that the PDF restrictions are also applied so now I have opened this file in a PDF viewer so if I click on file and if I click on properties if I click on security you see out here firstly printing is not allowed changing the document is not allowed page extraction is not allowed content copying is not allowed signing is not allowed so isn't this wonderful we have applied security to a PDF document so remember we converted the document from a office format to PDF we applied security to it now this is all that you need right you have converted the document to a secure format you have also applied security to it now I hope this session was informative or this tutorial was informative and thank you for being with me. Happy converting, happy securing and happy power automating. Bye bye for now.